Hello everyone, this is Spencer from Buildapreneur and I want to take a peek at Actionetics MD. So if you're looking this up and watching this video, you've probably heard of Actionetics MD. You're probably maybe already using Actionetics and you're trying to decide if you want to upgrade. There's obviously a steep price increase for you to do that upgrade, especially if you have a lot of contacts. I'll talk about that a little further. Um, but let's just dive in and have a peek at what we're getting here first. Um, it's pretty cool what they're trying to do. So, so full disclosure, they just launched this a week ago, maybe a week and a half ago. And at the, at the time of this video, a lot of this stuff isn't fully functioning. They're kind of slowly rolling out different things and, and some things aren't completely working as they're doing that. Um, so important to note that you might see things not work as, as we do tests and things, but uh, that's the price you pay for demonstrating something a week after it's launched, right? Um, the, the biggest change of all is what is once called action sequences and is now called follow-up funnels, okay? So we're just gonna build a follow-up funnel so we can see exactly what's new inside of a follow-up funnel. You can see the views changed a little bit. You get a lot more information now, a little more analytics as far as sends, clicks. Um, it's really cool that it shows you money made from specific follow-up sequences. Uh, I'm in, in affiliate marketing a lot more, so it doesn't do that as much, but if you are actually selling a product via ClickFunnels, this is obviously very, very helpful. Okay, um, so we're gonna start, we're gonna add a new step, and we're gonna look at some of the different options here, okay? so. Very, very cool. Now, whereas it was once just emails that you could send in a follow-up funnel, you can now add, assuming they subscribe, Facebook Messenger messages, okay? So there's a lot of Facebook bot companies out there and ClickFunnels is trying to bring that all under one roof. Um, and this is one thing that's still kind of rolling out, uh, at least on my account it is. And uh, and the goal here is obviously to be able to, to have your Facebook Messenger work well with your email, okay? And so you're not like emailing them and messaging them you know, 10 seconds apart or whatnot, they they kind of work well together and you email them and then the next day maybe you message them and you kind of see which one does better and things like that. So you can do both, Facebook Messenger and email. A cool new addition this year, Desktop Messenger. So you know those annoying little notifications that just pop up right there on your computer. Um, they may be annoying, but they also work. And so if you can get someone to opt into a uh, one of those desktop messengers, then you can now start marketing a third way and having little pop-ups uh, on people's desktop messenger when you have events or webinars or things like that. Um, so, so just another channel, right? Uh, as marketers, we're always looking for another channel, another way to reach people because uh, everyone you know, responds differently to different mediums. Uh, so that's those three. Funnel messenger, this one's pretty cool. So. Uh, Basically, this waits until someone goes into a funnel of yours again, and as soon as they're in a funnel of yours, um, then it will actually message them, like have a little pop-up inside of that funnel, okay? So a great example of how you could use this is um, you're, you're marketing to people, you're marketing to people, and you're trying to let them know something's over, and you're not really getting a ton of response, or maybe like only half of your list is responding. Well, the next thing you do is you can do a free offer, like, hey, I'm gonna give a free lead magnet or something like that. And as soon as they go into your funnel, now they're getting marketed to with pop-ups uh, in, in addition, okay? And so um, it's just another way, basically to wait until you can capture somebody back into your funnel again and then remind them of something previous that, that they were maybe hadn't purchased or, or things like that. Almost retargeting, but within a funnel. And then of course, Facebook retargeting. So really, really cool. You can now directly send people into a Facebook retargeting list based on what they're doing in the funnel, okay? So they buy, they get added to a retargeting list, they um they or they get removed from a retargeting list let's say let's say they don't buy well it'll automatically add them to retargeting very very cool um to make it all inside of one obviously you can do this inside of facebook with pixels and things like that but it's nice to just have it built into the funnel right this single sequence that just does everything for you uh love the idea behind it and the last thing text messenger so you'll have to integrate something like twilo or something like that to make that work but you can uh, with webinars and things you, you get their phone number and you can start sending text messages to these people so this is so cool because these are different channels okay and the concept of marketing it often takes uh, i think the average number is like seven to twelve touches with somebody to get them to really buy a product they need to be touched multiple times and like build trust with you and see that you're relevant and you really are like you know can be trusted with their money and things like that and so this makes that possible by, by being able to, you know, send them texts and send them Facebook messages and have Facebook ads showing up and desktop messengers. And well, you might, some might find that annoying. Um, it ends up building a much more cohesive relationship with your customer because they see you all over. You know, I see Russell Brunson's face like 50 times a day on Instagram and um, my Facebook ads and every time I log in and in emails and things. And so like, you know, I just really like, can feel like I have a connection with Russell Brunson because I see him so many places. And this is the same concept they're helping us to do inside of one funnel. Now, like I said, not totally all working now, um, assuming they do everything that they, they, they say they're going to have built here. Um, it's awesome. 
And you can also integrate your own autoresponders and things like that if you want. So you can see I can integrate active campaign and stuff all into a single um, a single campaign here. You can think of this as just one giant campaign. And it integrates nicely with the funnel. You can have them jump in and out based on actions they take within the funnel and things like that. Um, so very, very exciting. Uh, the only other big difference is back into Actionetics. You can go into ClickBots. Okay, once again, this is their version of Facebook bots. Um, and so it has virtually a probably not as robust as like some of the other ones out there, but an entire ClickBot software where people can type in keywords and get triggers and um, enter your Facebook bot uh, all through, once again, through ClickFunnels. And then you can add them into follow-up funnels and those sequences that we just showed you. Super, super cool. Okay, so uh, that's a peek at like what's changed in ActionXMD so far, what I've been able to see. Uh, pricing uh, is a little, a little more pricey than maybe some other autoresponders out there. And when you see what they're trying to do, you, you may understand that a little better. So uh, the first 5,000 users, totally free, okay? So, so ActionEdits comes with ClickFunnels and Backpack, the other, um, the whole suite there, and uh, it costs two ninety-seven dollars a month, and that comes with 5,000 contacts inside of your, your ActionEdits MD. Uh, however, uh, once you get past 5,000, uh, they have their own integrated SMTP and everything sent straight out of ClickFunnels now, and so they do charge you for that, and you're charged per contact. I believe at the time of, of me doing this review, it's somewhere in the vicinity of a cent per contact, okay? Which can get up there if you have thousands or uh, hundreds of thousands of contacts uh, in your ClickFunnels profile, and uh, you know you can, you can be paying a significant chunk of money each month, and hopefully you're recouping that with that large email list, but, uh, but it can be a lot more pricey than other autoresponders with that business model that they're using. Um, now, obviously, with all these different features, you can technically go and maybe remove your Facebook bot software, and you can stop using some other softwares that you're charging, you're paying for, like SMTP providers and things like that. So, uh, potential to save money on on both fronts as well. Uh, anyway, so this is ActionXMD, super super exciting. Everything they're doing, uh, a little disappointing that it's not all up and running, but obviously they've got to you know do it the way they got to do it. So. Uh, ClickFunnels Actionetics MD. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed this video.